Hey guys, today we're going to be testing this wireless smartphone charger and car lock. This is a very neat little unit. This will uh, set up in your car. You can either suction cup it to the window or to a air vent. And this will actually wirelessly charge your phone. At the same time, it locks your phone for a mount in your car. There's several other uses for it that I have found out. We're going to do a little review on it. We, uh, thanks for the bow lock smart car holder there. Hope I pronounced that right. So we're going to check this out. Follow along. Okay guys, this is the Bellock uh, wireless charging car holder. It's a smart and they sent this to us to uh, do a review on it. It's a pretty neat little uh, uh, wireless charging unit that also doubles as a uh, holder for in your car. Uh, it has all kinds of, uh, has a wireless charging feature. Uh, it has uh, you can it'll self attach to itself it's a pretty cool little setup let's uh, open this up comes in a box here let's just slide around and see what we have inside the box it uh, came with the uh, instruction manual tells you how to uh, go about setting the uh, uh, smart car holder and charger up so we'll look this on over but let's see what's uh, in it nicely uh, packed. This is the main unit here. We've got it in a nice little plastic wrap here. But this is the actual unit that holds to your car. You can hold that, uh, you can mount this to the car and you hold your phone to it. it. Has a little thing here at the bottom that opens up that allows your phone to, uh, to hook up to. Now I discovered something about this. It actually this comes with a cord. This actually works on the C line. Let's pull the cord out of the bag. The bags can be a little hard to open up here. So here's the cord that it comes with. On one end it has your standard USB. On the other end it's got a, a C charging port, which is pretty cool. You can, uh, about everything is going to C. The thing I like about the C thing is when you uh, plug these into a, uh, a unit here, you don't get it upside down. You can plug it in either direction. And I, I really like that a lot because you don't have to fumble which direction is the right way up. So this will hook into any C uh, unit in your car. Or, I found out another thing, if you have a charging brick at home or a computer, this will actually hook to that. So you can actually use this indoor as a, as a wireless charger too. It came with a, uh, it has the uh, suction cup mount that you can put it to the window of your car. And it's very adjustable. You can move this up and down. And then once you put this to the mount itself, it has a uh, little uh, thumb thing here. You suck it to there and then you hit this uh, thumb thing and it tightens it really tight. Pretty sticky. They actually say you can mount this to the dash too. We haven't tried this out yet, but we will. It also has a neat little thing here where you can open this up and extend it out. It makes it very, very adjustable. It, uh, comes with a this little unit here will go to the back and this will hook to a vent if you want to hook this up to a uh, air conditioned vent or heat vent there you can do it also that way they both fit real nicely it has a uh, screw on the back but you just pop these into the back tighten it down and it makes it adjustable this way too so that makes a very very unique feature the way this uh, hooks up here but this is the, uh, um, I probably, I'm not sure if I pronounce this right, Bowlock. Uh, this is a Bowlock wireless phone charger, and it's a, also a smart uh, phone holder. We're going to hook this up here and show you how it works. It's pretty unique. All right, what we're going to do is we have a 
standard this is the charger for a standard cell phone now if you wanted to use this indoors instead of just in your car we're going to plug this into a cord here the cord that comes with it has a, a standard USB on one end and then we can uh, plug this right into the bottom of the uh, charging unit you can see it came on the green light showed up here and it's opening itself up so in order to uh, put your phone in here all you got to do is it'll sense it you lay it flat and then it holds it tightly the uh, green light heading here below but in order to get this release this little button right here on the side if you hit that little button on the side you see that'll open it up and close it back down again so this is how you hold it in place all right so we have this hooked up right now to the uh, uh, indoors on a uh, charge unit we can take our phone this phone is down about 93 percent you gonna lay this flat in there now if you notice the light down below turned red when that turns red that means that's into the uh, charging function and if we look at the top here we can see the phone is actually starting to charge so just by laying it in here without hooking up any wires to the phone it automatically will start charging for us and if you want to use it in between time you just touch that little button there on the side that'll release it and then you can uh, use your phone but uh, say you want to you're done using it now and you want to say hey I want to get this charged back up again I'll just go up here lay this flat against there as you can see it turned red and so now this little light in here indicates that it's into the charging function on it and so it's at 93 percent and I can see where it's doing the charge so I even found a way I'm going to show you here in a bit a uh, I made a little L bracket that if you have a desk or something that you want to mount this to that you can uh, attach this little uh, vent mount to your desk and so you can just plop it in place but I wanted to show you a little bit on the uh, instructions there it tells you uh, how to hook up the different uh, brackets it just the back will clip back in or if you want to use the uh, mount here this is even sticking fast to my desk so it will stick we're going to give it a try out in the car but then there's different uh, the lights have different meanings on the lights if the uh, light down below is solid uh, red it means the device is charging if it's solid green your device is fully charged if it also if it's solid green the intel grip is in standby mode uh, the LED light flashes every quarter or half a second for an fod warning and the led flashes four times with a green red and this means a power transfer so we're gonna uh, when the phone's fully charged it'll turn green so it'll just keep on going until it's I'm not sure how, the speed of the charging of this it probably depends on your phone how fast your phone will charge the uh, specifications the input voltage is uh, 9 to uh, 5 volts input current is 1.67 amps slash 2 amps output power is 10 watts slash 7.5 watts working frequency is 110 to 205 kilohertz and power conversion is 65 to 83 percent so we're going to continue to uh, use this up here a little bit and just see what kind of functions but so far i'm very impressed with this i also wanted to show you when you lay this in your unit you want to make sure it lays nice and flat as that opens up you don't want it to be crooked or nothing you want it to lay flat because if it's not laying right the uh, charge will not take effect on it what i've noticed too if you push this bracket all the way in sometimes that holds it up and let's lay it down here nice and flat and see it did go into the charge mode here because the phone is laying really nice and flat so that's one thing i have found if your phone is up a little bit off this because it's using the conductive current to charge your phone 
Another warning that they put on here too is credit cards. They warn you to keep credit cards away from this as a magnetic area so it could uh, this uh, demagnify the strip on your credit card. So that's another little thing to watch out for is to uh, uh, keep in mind you want to keep your credit cards free of the area so you don't accidentally demagnetize the card. A couple other things to keep in mind. Now this phone here does have like one of these cases, protective cases. As you can see it's red. It's um, charging right through the case. But if you have a metallic case or some cases may impede the charging of the uh, uh, phone because it's not allowing the signal go through. So this is something you have to experiment with. But like I said, this is uh, uh, like, I believe this is an OtterBox and it's working fine with the OtterBox, which is a very popular cell phone case. Uh, so that's something else to keep in mind. You don't want uh, a metal case to uh, keep it from charging in between that. So it's another uh, thing to, if it's not working, might be the issue. All right, I wanna show you, I just made a little bracket. All this is, is just like a little L bracket screwed here to the desk. But with the uh, mount here, you can see this has the mount that you attach to the uh, uh, air vent in a car. But if you wanna mount this to your desk, Really all you need to do Squeeze the little thing and put it right on there and as you can see It mounted real nicely To the desk and you can move it around And then all you have to do you want to charge your phone in the house It's hooked up to your regular charger with the C port into it Hold the phone right up to there and there we go, clip it in place, and it's all ready to charge. So anytime you want to just charge your phone up, you can uh, just easily clip it in place, and you're all set, ready to go. It's charged 100% now, so, but it makes it easy way. You don't have to mess with cords or nothing. Take it down, hit the little button, pull it down. I'm going to put it back up on here. You see, it grabs a hold of it. You're all set, ready to charge, so... I think that's a pretty cool little extra feature that they don't show you just with a, a small little L bracket, attach it somewhere and you can mount it there and charge your phone right at home. All right, I wanted to show you how you can mount this. Uh, you have this uh, little clip here that'll go right to the uh, air vent. Get it the right direction here, turn it the right way and then this can just clip. All right, so you can, uh, Use this and clip it right to the air vent. And then I have a uh, cord that I can plug right in here. And uh, if you see, I open that up here, it'll the phone on it. I had to turn the power on to show you how that works. But you see, you can uh, nicely put that to your air vent. Now there's another way we can do it here is we can hook it up also with the uh, hook this suction cup mount here. So let's see how that works out. Okay guys, you can uh, see where you can attach this suction cup right up to the mirror. What you do is you put it on there and then you take that bracket, get it in the side there, but, and you push that and that makes it nice and tight. You can, uh, move this in and out you can bring this all the way up here if you want it close but you can mount this in a lot of different directions there but it'll mount right to the windshield so that's kind of neat you can just bury pinning on your car you can mount it in a lot of different locations we're going to try to mount it on the dash once just to see how it holds i put it down on there And it looks like that would work out pretty good. You can bring this back in place here. As you can see, you can uh, mount it on the dash. It's very versatile, the different places that you could mount this up. And just plug it right into your uh, standard USB connection in your car. So I think the uh, 
has very many places you can just mount wherever suits you the finest. All right, I hope you enjoyed the uh, review of the bow lock. This is a wireless cell phone charger and a uh, uh, mount. You can mount it in your car, very versatile. Uh, you can actually use this in the house. I found that little, uh, just a little L bracket add to it and you can stick it on your desk and charge your phone in the house. House is very handy, this wireless. Now this wireless only works with phone that are capable of charging wireless. Not all phones have that capability. But there is some adapters that you can get that will make your phone a wireless charger and different speeds than that. So you need to check your phone, make sure that it is capable of being wirelessly charged. Uh, the one we had was a Galaxy Edge 7 and uh, that one worked fine. Uh, I have another phone here. This one would need an adapter. It's it's a, a older phone. So check your phone, make sure that you're able to wirelessly charge it. But this unit's really neat. I love how it just push the yeah, phone right up there. It grabs a hold of it and grab a hold of the little button and it lets it release there and it charges it right up. So this is pretty cool. Runs off a USB uh, in your car, in your home, off of a uh, little charging cube. Uh, you can probably even hook it up to your computer for the, the external charging. So I would highly recommend this product. It's really, uh, really pr pretty cool. Uh, I will be putting a link to it for Amazon at the uh, bottom down below here. So if you're interested in one of those, you can click on the link, take you right to it there, and you can uh, uh, purchase one of these. Uh, so far, I said I'm very uh, uh, pleased with it. So if you guys, if you have any questions, you can leave any questions, comments down below in the section. Give us a thumbs up. And if you uh, not a subscriber, I invite you to hit the subscribe button. We do a lot of product review videos. We do uh, cooking videos. We do a local Parks and Cities videos where we uh, get some really interesting places. We do a couple live chats a week, one on Monday and one on Thursday, so check them out. Hit the little bell button, that'll notify you of our next video. So uh, appreciate you watching. We'll see you guys the next time. Thanks a lot. If you'd like to support our channel, we have links down below that you can click on. Uh, we have the, we're an Amazon affiliate. We have stickers available. We have a, a t-shirt store where you can buy t-shirts and coffee chat mugs. Or if you just want to support us, you can support us through the PayPal link. So we appreciate all your help. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.